Hey guys, it's me, Josh. I just wanted to take a few minutes to make a quick video on the seven day automation uh, follow up I was talking to you a little bit about. Um, much like most of you, I've had problems in the past with uh, getting leads back on the phone. You know, after our cold calling team or VA or whoever uh, talks to that person and finds out their interest, getting them back on the phone can always be a real challenge. And so, uh, what I've done is create a real aggressive seven day follow up campaign. Uh, just so you know, I'm using beast mode. I'm using lead Sherpa and then I'm also using Sly Broadcast uh, from beast mode to drop those RVMs. So I just want to do a quick overview of what I'm doing. And as soon as we have a lead in Sherpa, which we just consider someone saying yes, they want to, they would like to get a cash offer on their property. Uh, we push that over to Podio. Once it's inside Podio, our lead intake specialist, the first thing she does is set the seven day follow up campaign. Uh, so it's all automated. You set maybe click four times and it's set for the seven days. And then she makes sure that the record of the lead is all cleaned up with the correct address, the name, any notes from Sherpa, that kind of thing, and then tags my lead manager. And so the lead manager will start to call out, he'll grade the motivation and he'll call out the highest uh, motivated leads and then um, work his way down. But it's important to note that my lead intake specialist tags everyone uh, onto the automated follow-up campaign first because it's going to give them, uh, it's going to drop them five voicemails and six texts in the first seven days. And so uh, what I think we really do well is tie together the Sherpa conversation and pass it off uh, as seamlessly as possible inside of our CRM and it'll ring through right to my cell phone or an acquisitions guy's cell phone. But so after she tags uh, the Sherpa lead coming in, the lead manager will call three times day one, two times the second day, three times the third day, fourth day, and fifth day. And if we contact them within the first seven days, we'll set an appointment or make an offer over the phone. And then if we don't get in contact with them, we will just put them on a 30 day follow up campaign, upload them to our mail list, and then we're going to start uploading them to a uh, custom audience inside Facebook so we can retarget there as well. But let me show, show you what we're doing. So over the first seven days, it is a bunch of text that is automatic. It's automated from uh, Podio. So just as something like this, when we leave off Sherpa, it says something like, okay, I'm going to have my buying, my home buying specialist get in touch with you either today or tomorrow. And so my lead intake specialist tags it right away. And here's the first text. Hi, Ashley asked me to contact you regarding cash offer in your house. When's a good time to talk for two or three minutes. And then uh, later on that day, you did chat with Ashley about your house, didn't you? And so basically, I'm just really getting aggressive in the first 12 hours that they're tagged. Uh, and you can just read the, the text as we go on down here. But this is both day one, day two, day three, and then day five and day seven. And on day seven, what I do is send a link out to a YouTube video, uh, which ties in with our RVMs. So let me uh, show you. And again, this is just inside the follow-up app of Beast Mode. Created a Sherpa SMS seven-day follow-up and then a Sherpa RVM seven-day and then anyone for non-Sherpa, so just cold calling, I have a separate seven day uh, for them, same thing. But inside uh, the automation here for the RVM for Sherpa leads, day one, day two, day five, and day seven. So I'm dropping four voicemails in the first seven days and I'll just give you a peek of what they sound like. It's really nothing special, but I'm just hammering home the point that they spoke with Ashley and wanted a cash offer and I just want them to call me back. So. That's what I'm building the call to action around. Hey, it's Josh. I'm sorry that I missed you. My colleague Ashley just came into my office with your name and number and address and said that uh, you guys were texting back and forth and you were thinking about getting a cash offer on your property um, and she thought that I'd be real interested in yours. So anyway, give me a call back. You should have my number on your caller ID or if it's easier, just shoot me a text and let me know what time works best for you. Um, I'm really interested in getting a few more details about your property. Uh, and seeing if we might be a fit, and if we're not, no worries at all. Um, but anyway, give me a call back or shoot me a, a text if it's easier. Thanks so much. I look forward to speaking with you soon. So really nothing special, but I didn't want it to sound scripted either. So I stuttered a few times on purpose, and I think that really builds the authenticity. Here's the second one. Hey, it's Josh again, and I think this is the second time that I might have missed you. Um, anyway, Ashley came in and asked if I had touched base with you yesterday, and I told her I hadn't, but I'd give you a call again today. Um, so anyway, let me know if today might work. Shoot me a text if it's easiest. I'd love to see if we can get you a cash offer on your property. I look forward to hearing more. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. The third. Hey, it's Josh again. Um, I'm thinking by now maybe I got the wrong number or maybe Ashley gave me the wrong number. I just haven't heard back from you. Anyway, 
if you're still interested in the cash offer, um, shoot me uh, a text. Or if it's the wrong number, shoot me a text, too, and just let me know that so I don't keep bothering you. Anyway, uh, hope to hear from you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. And here's the last one, which ties into the last text that we also sent. Hey there, it's Josh again. I'm guessing that you decided you didn't want to get a cash offer on your house, uh, but that's okay. I know things change all the time. And so what I'm going to do is shoot you a text after this so you have a little bit more information about our company. And it'll tell you a little bit more about how we work, uh, maybe how the process would work if you decided to sell in the future. So if you decide you're interested in the future, keep my information, give me a call, shoot me a text, whatever you want to do, uh, and be in touch. Anyway, hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. And so what I was referencing was the, the text here, the last one where I'll send uh, a link with a YouTube video. So that's just me talking for two and a half minutes, basically about the how, proce how the process works with our company. So um, that's basically what I'm using, guys. It's improved our conversions by getting the people back on the phone, and that's all I'm basically claiming that it does, not increasing um, downstream conversion of any sales or anything like that. So it's just helped us in the past seven days since I've had this up. Uh, in, ter in terms of the conversion that we've had of people calling back where I know we're over 30%, but we're really only in the seventh day or so. So in the next month, I'll keep you updated. But anyway, let me know if you like this uh, or if you have any questions. Thanks.